Hi, my name is Chris aka The Philosopher's Games or TPH Games as my little games channel here is called and Star Wars Jedi Survivor just released. Unfortunately in an absolutely abysmal technical state for a lot of people, especially on PC, which we will focus on today, but also I heard complaints of console players, for example on people playing it on PlayStation 5, which is very unfortunate and always a bad sign when it even runs terrible on consoles. So today we look into the PC version. The game itself might be great and it's always in reviews praised for gameplay, story and its content, but the technical side of things is heavily criticized and is a huge problem. The game is not well optimized, but I found a little trick to maybe boost your FPS if you have a certain issue at least a little bit and get it into the realm of acceptable. But it still won't fix all the issues of the game that is currently not possible. So if you are considering or want to know, should I buy the game, just wait one or two patches and maybe the driver updates from the graphics, uh, graphics card manufacturers like AMD and Nvidia. But yeah, for all the others who are stuck with the game and maybe want to find a way to maybe improve the performance a bit, I have a little workaround trick that might work for some people, but definitely not, definitely not for all. And currently in its state, it's also a bit like a coin flip, like on more modern system, as um, EA even stated in a tweet, um, it seems to have a lot of weird um, issues. I'm personally running an RTX 3080 and a Ryzen 9 7950X. And if you have a similar system configuration, so a fairly modern system, maybe try this out, out and maybe it works. I will explain the issue um, in a moment and then we come to the work around. Maybe skip a bit forward if you don't want to hear uh, my rambling here. Also, this video will be spoiler free. I only show a small section of the tutorial level, so no story elements or so will be here in this video. If you see this particular footage here, you notice that something is strange, it's so blurry and um, very pixely. And the reason for that is this is 720p and you see it only runs on 40 FPS. I scaled it up for video editing reasons to 4K so it looks extra terrible, but that's not the point in this. So we see 41, 42 FPS. If we now increase the resolution to 4K, you will notice that it also runs on after a moment when the frame rate stabilizes a little bit, also gets back to around about 50, uh, 40 FPS. So we lose maybe one or two FPS here. And also the GPU load just increased at least a little bit, but it's still not on max. And that is kind of strange that if you amp up the resolution so much that it doesn't make any difference. And um, even when we um, amp up the resolution to let's say 1080p, you will also see we still hit only these 40 FPS and that is very unusual. And it seems the game does not utilize your complete graphical power here. It might be that it has trouble utilizing the CPU cor uh, correctly. I don't know exactly what the reason for this issue is, but I can tell you it is annoying. And now we come to my little workaround. So if you have this particular issue, then what you can do is start the game or quit to the um, title menu and go into the options menu. And then you put the resolution of the game to 720p. I only tested it with this, it might work with lower resolutions as well. Turn on ray tracing, that is a requirement. Without ray tracing it isn't, doesn't work. V-Sync is not important and also the graphics quality setting doesn't really matter. What matters though, beyond ray tracing and the low resolution is AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2 to put to ultra performance. I will call it FSR2 from now on and it's basically AMD's competition for Nvidia's DLSS and it trades image quality for performance. So DLSS works much better and has less a hit on the image quality than FSR2 but um, it, FSR2 is still pretty decent and for whatever reason DLSS is not available in Jedi Survivor. When you now load into the game, I have not tested what happens if you start a new game, but getting an autosave is fairly easy. Suddenly on 720p, we hit 71 FPS. And that is much better than before. We're at least above 60, which is great compared to my previous 40. And what we now can do is go into the options menu and increase the resolution to let's say again 4K. 
And if you do this, you will see that the performance goes back up. You can also set FSR2 back to, let's say, um, for 4K resolution with ray tracing, you potentially need a little bit of FSR2. Put it on, let's say, performance or balanced or something like that. And if you do that, you see that now my GPU is also used much better. And then the game at least runs decently. So that kind of works. However, no matter what you do now with the resolution, if you even put it a little bit lower than that, it won't, you won't see, at least on my system configuration, um, much more FPS-wise than 60, maybe 68, 70. That's potentially the maximum I could get um, on my systems, no matter what I do with the graphics settings there. And as I said, it's better than 40, and I hope this little workaround helps you. This of course does not excuse that the game was released in a state like this. It clearly needed more development time and it's so unfortunate that they decided to just release it and then fix it with patches afterwards, hopefully. And that's just not a good practice in my opinion. But I guess because this year is packed with very heavy hitters, um, they didn't dare to change maybe the release date much around. It's simply sad to see a potentially great game in such a terrible state. However, I hope this little trick here helped you out. And if so, let me know in the comments. Maybe you also found some interesting um, trick or workaround or observation. Feel free to put it in the comments. Press a like button if this was helpful for you in any shape or form. And maybe subscribe. You know how YouTube works. If you are curious what is coming up next on this channel, I might do my first impressions video soon as well of Jedi Survivor where we will discuss some of the technical issues maybe a bit more and some of the problems and maybe also the game itself. And I also plan making a video about Cyberpunk 2077's overdrive mode, so it's pass tracing mode and how it runs on my 3080 and um, where you can see the differences and what it actually does. So if you're interested in that, maybe check that out as well might be up next week sometime. And beyond that, I also plan on doing a little mod highlight video for Cyberpunk. So if you're interested um, in that game, which got better through patches and also had an absolutely abysmal um, release, then maybe check those out. And if you are into Lord of the Rings stuff, maybe check my main channel where I do a lot of Tolkien and Lord of the Rings lore stuff. Beyond that, I also stream on Twitch. We will play Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I have a challenge still going in Elden Ring and let's call it Resident Evil 4 Remake Speed Runs. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you people for watching. I hope this little workaround works for you and maybe see you next time. Goodbye.